I'm gonna do a Mark Wahlberg voice. Please do. I'm Scott. I'm TJ. And this is a review. On today's episode, we're reviewing Me Time. Me Time stars your boy, Mark Wahlberg, and Kevin Hart, who's short. Uh, Kevin Hart is so much more than short. He's also energetic and dull at the same time. In Me Time. Sonny, you have no life outside of your kids. Well, my wife is an architect. We made a decision that's best for me to take care of the kids. It's called a system which works. Yeah, a prison yes. system. That's what it sounds like. Ah, yes. Me Time, the latest Netflix comedy? Question mark? It's a comedy. It's got people in it we know for comedies. Kevin Hart is a comedian. Kevin Hart's a comedian. Mark Wahlberg, often paired with the great Will Ferrell. Yes. Mark comedian. Wahlberg. He's Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Say hello to your mother for me. Say hi to your mother for me, okay? <laughs> what would you rate Me Time? I was not a fan of Me Time. I didn't hate it. It had its moments. I laughed at a couple of bits here and there, but yeah. over, overall, I think I'm giving Me Time two tortoises. Mmm. Yeah, two tortoises out of five. Well, what about you? What would you rate Me Time? You know, it was just very okay. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I enjoyed a lot of moments. Um, I would give it two giant Mark Wahlberg sand heads. The um, effigies? The, the effigies. Two Mark Wahlberg sand effigies out of five. It's a very, very mediocre movie. Um, if you want to watch it without being spoiled, that's our Stop review. here. But before you stop, be sure to hit subscribe. Because once you watch the movie, you're going to want to come back and watch the rest of the review and see what we think. Subscribe. Or uh, we'll kill your tortoise. Nope. Sit down. Help! I got a lion trying to eat me! Help! Help! Spoilers! Go! go. <laughs> Kevin Hart and Ma uh, Mark Wahlberg have teamed up before. Is this, I think they did a, another movie together. I don't know. It's an odd. They're an odd couple. I get it. It is a very. You, you said it earlier. It's like the Will Ferrell thing. It is a similar pairing where you put the comedian and you make them kind of the tight laced button up one. And right. then you have Mark Wahlberg, who's like the action guy, just kind of being nuts a little being bit. Being fun and eccentric. But here's the thing I think you watch this and you want Kevin Hart to be the fun, eccentric one. Yeah, but I also don't want Mark Wahlberg to be the button up. I don't want either That's of them. That's the problem. We don't need a button up guy. They, they both are just fun, energetic guys. Well, in this movie anyways, Kevin Hart is not. I'm not exaggerating. One of the most boring, like worst characters I have ever seen in a movie. Who I just, halfway through the movie, I thought, this guy has zero likable traits. He is just complaining and scared and and... Frivolous. He has nothing. His only likable trait, and they make sure you know this, is that he loves his family. He does like, love he his does family. He does everything. He's a stay at home dad. Much yeah. respect to all stay at home dads. Yeah. But, like, you know, that's his one character trait. He's and a good he, dad. He's a great dad. He's yeah. a great dad. He does everything with them. He knows their morning routines. It's a great setup there. And I think that's a more fun idea than this movie allows it to be. Yes. Like, this movie becomes a different movie than you think it's going to be in Act 1. Well, he's a great dad, but he's a terrible husband. Yes. Th this is the most jealous man to ever... I is, mean, look, I get it. It's, is it weird that he's kind of just got short man syndrome? That's not weird because it's a Kevin Hart film. That's his whole bit, is he's short. And look at me, I'm short. That's everything he ever has done. His whole career is based on... Matter of fact... Look at me, I'm short! There's one Kevin Hart hidden on our set right now. If you can find it... Let us know in the comments below. Oh, he's so small, I can't even see him. But he's um, there. He's there. The movie is essentially just a series of set pieces. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, Huck, Huck. He's got a whole itinerary planned out to be on an island, but then that goes south, and so it's like them driving back to LA or to, to Sherman Oaks, where, 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 where Kevin Hart lives. I don't know his name. Kevin Hart's character, Sonny, he's an uptight dad and he needs to relax. And so this is his wife and wife has taken the kids away for the weekend. 
it's giving him a chance to do whatever he wants. The first part of the movie is him like just trying to relax for, for a day and he's really equally bad at it and good at it. He really yeah. packs a lot into that one day. A lot, a lot happens in this movie. They pack in a lot of activities. That's why it feels so disjointed. Because think about like thinking about this scene where they go to the retreat for Mark Wahlberg's 44th birthday, right? Yeah. For Huck's birthday. Then they're there, and then all of a sudden they're like sabotaging uh, his wife's co-worker's apartment, mansion. Well, because he's jealous. Cause well, that's jealous. the movie. Yeah, the movie doesn't have like a clear structure that like the, it's about Mark Wahlberg's birthday, but then that gets derailed because he owes money to Jimmy O. Yang, who shows up to break <laughs> one of Kevin Hart's fingers. In a not so funny mix up that's very predictable. Yeah. It's like from the start, you're like, they're never going to break Mark Wahlberg's finger. No, like, this Mark. Is no. going to be Kevin Hart's finger. Kevin it's just Hart very does predictable. all the. Kevin Hart does all the physical humor in this. Mark Wahlberg's just there to be like, hey, it's me, Mark Wahlberg. Look at me in a tracksuit. Look how sexy I am. The whole movie. I'm 44. I'm not 52. Yeah. I own my own company, but I'm really so incredibly in debt. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of unclear. And then the movie just kind of becomes a series of like, Mark Wahlberg's like, okay, that's over. Now we're just going to do what you want to do. I had to give a special shout out uh, to the mother-in-law and father-in-law as well. They had both moments that made me actually laugh out loud. Yeah, they were funny. We're, they're, they're we're good. Not in the movie too much. They're barely, they're just like little moments. Like but at the perfect amount. Yeah. They, they came in and they both crushed their roles. Yeah. I think the worst part of this movie is Kevin Hart. He's such a boring, like Mark Wahlberg actually is kind of fun. I actually wish that I had more of Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. He kind of is in less of the movie than you hope. Mark Wahlberg has never been closer to my impression of him as a character ever before. Like he is just, hey, it's me, Mark Wahlberg. I'm just really young. I'm hanging out with the kids and partying. Hey, what's going to go over here? There was a mountain lion attack. Here's an effigy of my fucking head. Like, He's just completely unhinged. What about when he does the uh, accent? To when he's oh when he calls my the god! I mean, like this movie has like good moments, and a lot of them all yeah. because of Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I would Mark. Say. Mark Wahlberg. He's good. I always like him in comedies. He's he he's playing it pretty straight, but he's like just being an obnoxious. He's everyone has a friend like Mark Wahlberg. He's That's kind of what it is. The grounded ham. This week isn't about me. It's about us. Okay. In the majestic California. Oh. Uh, I think that's a great place to bring us to final thoughts. TJ, you want to give us final thoughts for me time? Sure. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called me time. And honestly, if you get a little me time, spend it doing something else. <laughs> I give this movie, like I said, two out of five. And honestly, it's fine. It's enjoyable. It's. And I don't mean this as an insult. It's a good movie to do the dishes to. Sometimes you just want to hear familiar voices. Oh, Kevin Hart, Marky Mark from the Funky Bunch. I want to hear him talk and say jokes and attempt things. Look, my favorite part of this movie is the brief window where my Wi-Fi cut out and I had to stop watching it for like 10 minutes. The movie sucks. It's not very good. It's amusing occasionally at points. Uh, it was good background to play games on my phone too, which I normally don't like doing, but I had to do something to keep myself entertained during this movie because this movie wasn't doing it for me. I think uh, you just nailed it. It's a phone movie. It's a phone movie. I'm not ever on my phone during movies. Even yeah. at home, I was on my phone during this movie. It's a background movie, um, which is why we both gave it a two out of five. Open your arms like a starfish! Starfish came back! I told you you could do it! I love you, Huck! I love you, Huck! So that's me time. Don't watch it. Or do. I don't care. Hey, spend your time doing what you love. And if that's watching, this is a review, hit subscribe. If it's not, hit subscribe anyways. And then let us know what you like doing. If you liked me time, hit subscribe. If, if you, you didn't, didn't like me time, hit subscribe. That's right. If you like Mark Wahlberg, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Andrew Santino, subscribe. Comedy, hit subscribe. Netflix, hit subscribe. Uh, geese. No. Geese. How dare you? Can't, I can't believe this. Movie. 
Jenga. Hit subscribe. <laughs>